wanted to tell my friends, they called me Frankies. Frankie, yeah. I like that. I noticed everybody tends to put a vowel sound at the end of nicknames. Yeah. Is that right? Is that everywhere? Yeah, we should with almost all names. Frank, my brother is Rodrigo. That's a very common name in Mexico. Yeah. But my parents call him Roddy. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, did you grow up here? Yeah, all my life. 20, oh, yeah? 23 you, years. 23 did you, years. Did you go to school here? Yeah, I studied in... I just finished college. I grew up here. I went to college here. And I started to think that I will stay here for a long time. Looks like a good place to live. How many job opportunities are there? It depends. Uh, in tourism, there are many opportunities. In different, different fields, it's more complicated. Mm -hmm. But I studied for business, and since I started college, I started working, I started making some public relations. So for me, it felt more complicated to go out when I already knew uh, the people in the market where I was thinking to start working. So how many people in your family have worked in this industry? In tourism, well, my father, he, he worked for 20 years, 25, in a big resort. Mm -hmm. He was into management. Uh, after 25, it was too much for him. He decided to not continue because when you work in tourism, you, you don't have a life. You work 20 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Almost usually seven days a week. So he went out, uh, he quit, and then he started his own business. That was 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And since that, he started to build it. Uh, he built this cabin. And my brother, he's an architect, and they are now working together. Wow. This is amazing. This the way this is set up. It's like <laughs> it's a real life treehouse. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, when I was here, all my friends told me that if this was my treehouse, and I told him that no, because that was my parents' treehouse, so I wasn't allowed to get up and to play inside the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> um. So how long have you run the Airbnb? Uh, two years. We start for. Christmas of 2019, uh, but right now, if you see Gavin, it's so beautiful. Uh, we already know how to clean up uh, everything that needs to be there. The first two months, it was just one foot of man, a couple of lights, a couple of towels, and that was all. Thankfully, our first guest was a, a very lovely family that didn't, for them, didn't matter too much. They appreciate the effort, and after three, four reservations, we, we start uh, getting more stuff, talking with guests, and asking how was uh, how was their night, and they they told us if they need uh, more blankets, if they need uh, something to where to put their clothes, um, here a, a toaster, a blender, a coffee machine. And my mom, she loves shopping. <laughs> so every time she hears, okay, you should get a, you should get a blender, she goes to the store. You should get a toaster, she goes to the store. <laughs> so for now, for that, we try to keep her inside the house. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't hear if they get say that we need to get another thing because she's gonna go to the store yeah. and buy it. Definitely. Um, then have you had any crazy guests come through? Yeah, in, in our first year, the craziest were Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> and they, were, they were Mexican and they were my age. <laughs> <laughs> they were a couple of street guys, maybe 20, 21. Mm -hmm. They stayed for a week. But after the, their first night, they spent all their money. <laughs> <laughs> they, they decided to go to a beach during a spring break. Uh -huh. uh, it was their first time in Cancun. And they went to the beach, and after that, they tried to go to a nightclub. And when you were when you go to a nightclub, they usually try to sell you many many stuff, very 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 expensive. And the next morning, they they had the like the night of their life. And they told me, Frank, it was great, but we don't have we don't have money. They called their parents and said, Oh, dad, bad story. I went. 
I was out, sometimes took my wallet, that I have no money, and no, 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 I don't believe you. I've been in Cancun, I know how it is. Yeah. <laughs> you spend all your money, right? Yes, we did. Okay, <laughs> now you have six days and you have to survive. How much money do you have? I don't know, maybe 20 bucks. I, my friend has another 20, and my other friend has, has another 20. What, what are you going to eat? And they told, then they say, well, in this cabin, they offer breakfast every morning. So our plan is to eat all the breakfast and try to survive to the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what they did for a week. Wow, that's crazy. Um, if somebody were to stay here in Cancun and do just one tourist attraction, which one is worth the most for your money? Because mm. they're all expensive. Yeah, they, they're all expensive. Um, when you're living in Cancun after many years, you see that after a beach, you can go to a beach, and when you go out to a beach, you can go to a beach again. Almost all attractions are to so Playa El Carmen, I think, uh, East Coast theme parks. It would probably be your best option to spend the money. They are worth it. They're worth it. And if you are like us and you prefer just to drain your shit out, Shell Khan could be the, the best option. Okay. Also, also Sushi Milko Party Night. It's a very good option. What is the biggest waste of money for okay. tourist attractions? What would somebody spend money on and this, they just will regret it later? Ooh, transportation. <laughs> yeah, job. yeah. They, they take a taxi cab at the airport and it's crazy what they charge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if they take uh, public transportation, if they go to downtown and start moving around, like if they were uh, local people, they know that they are paying 10 times less than what they pay when they are. The problem is if you speak another language, if you if you are brown like me, and you speak Spanish, you can say, oh, I'm Mexican. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not telling you, I'm giving you local price. <laughs> if you speak English, yeah. they're, they're gonna charge you every time. So they take one look at me and not yeah, charge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, did you have any questions? All right. So, so what? So what made you? What made y'all decide to build this? Like, it was it build this treehouse. Like, mm -hmm. like, like, whose idea was it? And what? Why? What made you decide? Was it because of Airbnb that y'all wanted? No, it, we, we that made this cabin fifteen years ago. Also, I believe in this house like 16, 17 years. And after two or three, my dad decided to make this cabin. He first made uh, the pool. It was like his personal project. But um, we never used cabin. Usually, he only used the cabin to, for painting, but he never painted inside the cabin. And sometimes he had his uh, boys' night with his friends to play <laughs> domino. That they get together to play domino once a month. And what's the only reason to use the cabin? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and two, uh, two years ago, I started working with Airbnb, with another apartment, and we started thinking, well, it could be, it could be fun to rent the cabin. And I saw that both my parents, they enjoy meeting people from different parts of the world, uh, having conversation with them, because the other apartment that I rented, it was for an old lady, that she never wanted to talk with. It was someone uh, living in her house for her was, she wasn't cool with that. And my parents, no, they really enjoy it. So he said, okay, let's do it. But yeah, we, Airbnb was way, way after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So when's the best time to come to Cancun, in your opinion? This time? Mm. Yeah, this is like the high. I bet this is like the high season where yeah. a bunch of Americans, maybe some Canadians, come down and escape the cold. It's here is always hot. Uh, probably try to skip between September, November because it's usually rainy season. Mm -hmm. March, uh, April, and May. It's always hot. It's never raining, and everything is cheaper. Gotcha. 
I will keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> he learned something. Yeah, and the same attraction, the same things to do are all paid all year. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Okay. I'm good. I'm good.